Oh, we getting this word around town. Oh my goodness. These just the headlines that's been going on. I've been waiting for word around town. I- Isaiah Stewart got arrested for punching Drew Eubanks, the most random shit ever. PJ Tucker got fined for 75k for publicly asking for a trade. AD says Lakers are forging an identity, and this is who we are. Where do y'all want to start? I- we I guess we could start with Isaiah Stewart. I didn't know he got arrested. <laughs> I mean, he already out, but I don't know, bro. What did they say? What the altercation was about? Man, they say they just got into it, and all I know is Monty Williams got mad at the Suns because the Suns made a uh, they made a statement, and they basically said it was unprovoked, and that's what Monty Williams got got mad at. He was like. Unprovoked. Hey, y'all know it's unprovoked. I just think the whole thing was weird, but the son say it was unprovoked. So he just ran. Oh, Stewart running. just had Stewart just picked picked um on um, Eubank just to, to do something. That's what the, that's what the son saying. He just he just picked, it was he was just unlucky. The unlucky guy that day. That's what the sons were saying, and okay. that's why I think Monty Williams came out and was like, "Bro, hey, y'all know let, let the investigation play out or whatever, whatever." But Isaiah Stewart already out. But what was you saying, Lucre? Ah, uh, yeah, I was just saying, yeah. Is so he randomly just decided Drew Eubanks is the one that's gonna get, get some hands. Yeah, probably. He probably just want to bully that nigga. He probably want to. I bully. mean, they, they, uh, they already they already got a um a stigma on on uh, what's that called? Uh, on Stewart ever since that the LeBron incident, um, yeah, he out of control. So I mean, that's just that, that's something he, as long as he in the league, that's gonna be tied to him. He can't control his emotions. He's a wild one, um, a hothead, a guy looking for fights. Like it, that's just that's what's going. That's automatically gonna be tied with him. Even if he innocent in this situation, he automatically gonna be. Looked at as, oh, uh, he's the bad guy. Do y'all think he got a? Y'all think he got a? Uh, from what y'all seen of him, do y'all think he got a uh, attitude problem? He's had some situations where, um, he's definitely, um, he's definitely like it was. It was something problematic there. But it seemed like after years that went by since that LeBron incident, it's kind of gotten better. But he had, like he he had a little he had small incidents on the court that every player sometimes has, especially when you were big. Uh, sometimes you can bang with somebody the wrong way, and they might do a little shove here, you shove them back, and y'all. So I mean, it's little stuff like I don't. It's when we think about some people that we've seen in the past or even currently in the league that's been problems. I don't think he had, he ain't no, he ain't no, no real issue like that. But he's, he's definitely, you done seen some signs here and there like, okay, this dude's still we're tripping now. But See, I, I ain't never read too much into it. I don't think it's a thing. I don't think it's a, uh, he got a problem. I just think he's just naturally probably like a tough guy. And it's just like, if you mess with him, he own that. But <laughs> when, when you get to the point where you, you just hitting people back, like it's damn near hitting a nigga backstage, not backstage. What's that she got? Uh, in the back. He hit the dude in the back before the game. So yeah, I don't, why, why are the two teams even that close to each other before the game started? Like how y'all even in contact with one another? That's crazy. Man, you know these dudes is friendly. They back there talking. They chopping it up. It ain't like the Stewart old. Stewart don't come guy. around. It's, I'm about to go talk. Hey, yo, I'm about to go talk to the other team real quick. I'll be right back. He don't come around as that type of guy. So I don't, it's it's sketchy how they was even. It, it had to have been some words said. It could have been just on the fly. He bumped into that, him or he thought he, or he thought he heard something. It could have been anything. But I just I don't see Eubanks and Stewart in the same area before the game started. <laughs> But my, my thing is, with I, I think the Monty Williams coming out, because he did work for the Suns, him coming out saying, criticizing the Suns for saying that it was unprovoked. Y'all, y'all agree with Monty Williams saying that before all the facts is out? And was the Suns even wrong for saying that? Because I was like, why did he comment and point that out? I'm assuming if they coming out saying something, then somebody must have witnessed something. 
I think Drew Eubanks told, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that boy for the uh, Nikola Miritich. <laughs> I get hit. I'm saying something. <laughs> and then my thing is, Stewart, how you got the energy to fight? You've been missing uh, the last few games with this ankle sprain. You fighting on an ankle sprain? It dude really might be tough, bro. To to really risk a fight with a boy, he said my ankle's breaking my hand, eh? For sure. What if Drew Eubanks? Drew Eubanks just kind of I ain't gonna see. Nah, I ain't gonna say Drew Eubanks soft, but you didn't hit him back. <laughs> like that's my whole thing. Like it wasn't that boy ran off and told the story. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble now, Mister. Because <laughs> my my thing is. It sounds bad because Drew Eubanks didn't hit him back. If we just would have heard that Isaiah Stewart, Drew Eubanks was squabbling. Like Isaiah Stewart, like six eight, he big, but Drew Eubanks like seven one, man. We just heard they were squabbling, man. They about equal size. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like he went to no little guard and punched them. Drew Eubanks big as hell. So if we yeah. heard they were squabbling. It wouldn't been as bad. But since it sound like he won't throw <laughs> and went and told, that's what make Isaiah Stewart look bad, but. I kind of I kind of agree with Monty Williams because I don't think nobody just randomly punching nobody. So don't don't come out sons and say it was unprovoked. Yeah. But we we can move on. Uh PJ Tucker fine 75k for publicly asking for a trade. <laughs> that dude is so unhappy. He's too old for this shit, bro. Just man, he ain't bone, time, man. Bones Island pouting over there. Bones, what? I understand though. What contender right? team? What contender team can PJ join right now? This late in the season, he think he about to just move somebody off the depth chart. Uh, what's up with Chris Middleton? Take his ass back to Milwaukee. They just got Gallinari. Take Ooh. his ass back to Milwaukee. They, they did that. <laughs> yeah, they just got him. Yeah, yeah, they just got Gallinari. Gallinari ain't the defender that PJ Tucker is, though, but he definitely gonna be a boost for their offense. But that's the thing, they keep they getting guys to the offensive that. guys. Yeah, yeah they, they getting guys. I mean, other than Patrick Beverly, he ain't no offensive guy, but I mean, they keep on just, I don't know, they looking at the wrong stuff. And PJ took hey, over. That's a, that's a that's that's a good that's a good pickup, though. I didn't even think about the bugs. That, that's a good pickup for uh Gallinari too, but it's just like they need more defense. And adding Pat Bev, adding uh PJ Tucker. And then you got Dame, Giannis, and Brooke out there. That wouldn't be that bad, bro. That wouldn't be that bad. Because hmm. I don't know. But I I think he uh PJ really mad because they not they didn't buy him out. But it's just like say, bro, just chill. Just chill. Right. You might win a championship. <laughs> I know. The Clippers, the Clippers probably did tell him and Harden, like, hey, y'all gonna be y'all gonna have vital roles for the team, and then when PJ he was, sal- he was salary filler. When right. PJ that took a t- when PJ took a walk out the room, they were like, "All right, now back to real business." <laughs> <laughs> Y'all both go play a pivotal role. <laughs> nah. Yeah, glad to have but, you. <laughs> but but why is why he tripping, man? It's just like, bro, because he want like, to play. How old, is, how old is he? How old is he? He ain't, he ain't no spring chicken. He like thirty eight. I don't know. He old. He came in the league. He came in the league kind of old. He been in the league at least over at least about twelve years now. For a thirty eight year old to be complaining about playing time is crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's thirty eight. Yeah, he's thirty eight. That's crazy. Yeah, he's thirty eight. Um, a thirty eight role player at that like it's it's it's. Once you're on a team like that, it's hard. It's not too many teams looking at a 38 year old and saying, "Yeah, we need to go get that guy." Because you're not what you 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 not what you once was. We've seen it last year. You wasn't. So it's like he went long stretches without hitting a shot. <laughs> I mean, he did have that one game when he got up in uh, NB phase. He he was he was a. Hey, Hey, he 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 had some he had some key moments. Embiid was being soft. Embiid was being soft. But PJ Tucker was not the answer, bro. No, you I'm saying I'm saying that particular. No, nah, no, nah, I'm saying PJ yeah, Tucker for him to roll up like that. No, I'm just saying for him to roll up like that. But. You know, PJ Tucker think he you done his ass him or something. Like you know, everybody got that one guy on their team where he may not be the bro. best talent, but 
know, is PJ Tucker better than you, Donna Savlin? Putting y'all on the spot right now. PJ Tucker, you Donna Savlin, who y'all picking at the best of their abilities? I'm gonna go PJ. Give me uh, PJ too. I yeah, I, I go PJ, but I mean, you Donna Savlin wasn't bad. He wasn't bad, but PJ could hit that corner him. three and go out the wing. I think people oh. remember him better as a leader than he, he was as a player. That's fine, yeah. Like at the end of the day, not many people gonna remember him now as a player. They gonna remember him for being on the bench. Boy, he down there in Miami. He from Miami. See, he sound like he from the hood. See, he he got a billion in that organization, man. When we see him, he's in that organization, huh? DJ, I mean, you can speak on this too, but when we seen him live, like he, Paul Pierce said something, and some people say it came off as hating, but when he got that, um, what was that he got? Um, was his jersey or something? What, what was it he just got an honor or something? Dude, Paul his Pierce, jersey like, <laughs> he got his jersey retired. And Paul Pierce, <laughs> like, he, he didn't earn, like, he basically didn't earn it. They were just, they gave it to him. And Hanson was like, basically, like, man. Um, Pierce, I like I could have chose violence, or whatever. I'm thinking in my head, like first of all, you too old to be thinking like that. But then he was like, but people was defending Haskell, so he was like, um, my fan base, or whatever, uh, already said it, uh, said enough. I don't even got to say nothing else. Like I could have went about it a different way. And I'm just like, bro, the fact that you even think that your career even is next to Pierce's though. <laughs> The fact that he think he got a fan base is crazy. Well, no, like, it was people defending him. He got love in Miami. Fan, I think it was just. I, yeah. think, I think it was more people just didn't like Pierce more so than people that was just fans yeah. of Haslam. Yeah. I ain't gonna start. I love Paul Pierce game, but as a person, I respect Haslam more. Uh, Haslam, he's he seemed like a respectable sure. dude, but he come on, bro, he sucked. Like Dang. he sucked. Like, like he shouldn't have played no twenty years. He should be capped out at thirteen. He had seven years of absolutely doing nothing. Like. <laughs> His last year in the league should have definitely been uh, when LeBron left the Heat. And Y'all he remember when really Tyler Hero tried to throw him that? I was about to bring that up. That was crazy. That dude man. almost caught a Charlie horse. That dude, <laughs> boy. He looked at Tyler Hero like, Hero like, why would you do that? Yeah, bro. Tyler Hero was looking at him like, bro, you should have caught it. <laughs> I said, Y'all both crazy. Hey, while we on Jersey retirements, you know how Shaq just got his in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. When you think uh Dwight getting his, he better get well, that he got, mug they, in the next two years. Man, they gotta let this shit blow over, bro. Like his name, he's still hot out oh, here, man. Boy, cause you, you know Charles Barkley never gonna be ribbing at Shaq about that. Shaq yeah. gonna be over there steaming. Say, bro, they gotta let they gotta let his name air out a little bit, bro. They gotta let his name. give it at least three years, at least three years. Yeah, you know, yeah, Shaq. yeah, bro. But him on the back door, Shaq is crazy. If you do he, that hey, shit, like you think crazy. about it though, he he man, he's he was who, better than Shaq. Who, he was better than Shaq as a magic. I, I was like, who done more for Orlando than than Dwight Howard? Not just Shaq, but just period. Nobody. He's the best magic as of now. I know, I, I know who you want coming for that spot. All right, no. Say, bro, he's going to get it. Well, nah, that's a tough pass. That's a tough. Say that. Don't do that. Oh, he got, a, he got a long way to go. I'm not finna just rate. Just Paolo, I'm, I'm gonna say this: If Paolo stay on the course he on, he gonna definitely be um the Magic's greatest scorer ever, mm-hmm. and possibly a greatest um what's it called? He gonna probably lead him in assists when it's up. Like I was, he man, gonna lead him in points t- too. Oh, go ahead. I see. I see. Gonna, I see I he gonna be the greatest scorer ever. But oh, okay. um, me and DJ was talking. And DJ said something that was already on my mind. Um, he's underrated when it comes to passing. People Not only really. look at, oh man, you know he a scorer. He can create his own shot anytime he wants to. He they give him the comparisons to Mel- like his game to Melo. But I'm like, bro, he is way more than Melo ever thought about being an offense man. And I love Melo, but man, that boy can pass the ball. Like he knows how to read when a double is coming. He knows how, okay, this shot, I, I can get this shot off, but I really don't want to take this type of shot at this angle. And he'll see a pass. And I mean, I didn't really, based on what I've seen, I didn't see a lot of him in college. I 
I watched a little bit of him last year. Um, but I didn't know he could pass that good. That was that was something when I was watching him on on TV and I was like, this dude got ten assists. I knew he was passing the ball, but I was like, I didn't realize he had ten assists. But yeah, he he gonna be somebody to look out for when it comes down to just that franchise and yeah, he gonna be in the history books. Oh yeah, and Ray they ain't got no spacing. Look, Chris, they ain't got no spacing. They, yeah, they do need some shooters over there. I know they I know they want a guard. That's going to be their main focus, uh, acquiring a big-name guard. So we'll see who they get. I know they throw around Darius Garland in case Cleveland try to blow it up or something like that. We're going to see who they get. See, um, we're we going to get into Cleveland later, but I don't think Cleveland should blow it up. It's just retool. Retool around Mitchell and Jared Allen because we're going to get to it. Jared yeah. Allen has took a leap in his offensive game, and so has Evan Mobley. Yeah. But – uh, I would I was gonna say this because Paolo really don't have no holes in his game. He got a lot of stuff. He just need to keep on polishing and refining. Mm-hmm. But Jalen Suggs is we go is anybody gonna talk about Jalen Suggs and how he was doing SGA in that first half? SGA wasn't say it, bro. He was oh my goodness. I was low key kind of happy, but then I was kind of like, damn SGA, you really getting locked up? Yeah, and he was hitting threes. That boy out there looking like a more app well. A black Alex Caruso. That's what I say. Jalen Suggs like a black Alex Caruso. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit.